Hello and welcome to the Green Style Creations Raglan Sew Along. I'm Sarah and I work with Green Style and I blog at sewingwithsarah.com and I'm excited to be back here again doing another sew along for you guys. Um, this time we're going to be sewing two of the Green Style Raglan patterns. Um, one for women, the Centerfield Raglan, and one for men, the Hudson Pullover. So during this sew along, you can feel free to sew either just the women's pattern or just the men's pattern or both if you want um, some coordinating garments for holiday photos or a Christmas card or something like that. Um, you're more than welcome to sew both. I will be sewing both, um, but you can also just sew one. So it's just kind of um, one of those open-ended sew alongs that I like to do to give you as much freedom and choice as possible um, to create something that fits you and your lifestyle. Um, now, Today I'm going to talk to you, today is day one of our sew along, so I'm going to be going over the supplies that you need for each of the patterns, I'm going to be talking a little bit about fit, and then I'm going to be taking you down to my cutting table and I'm going to be showing you the pattern pieces actually cut out, which is um, what I would hope that you would have finished at the end of today. Now, if you haven't done a sew along with me before, or it's been a while, um, here's kind of how it works. Each day, I make a post in the group in Green Style Creations, and I'll also post it um, on my page, just showing what the tasks for that day are. And there will be an accompanying video or photo to go with it. Um, and what I'd love for you to do is, after you complete that day's task, to just comment with a photo of your progress. Um, it's also a great place to comment and ask questions. You're always also welcome to do so on my blog. Um, so if you're ready, I'm ready, and let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing that I want to talk to you about is supplies. If you're sewing the women's center field raglan, um, you're going to need, first of all, you're going to need fabric. You're going to need one and a half to two yards of fabric with at least 25% stretch. Um, now, I'm wearing a center field raglan. I did lower the neckline a bit on this one when I made my raglan comparison post on my blog last year. Um, I love this this um, shirt. I made this one with rayon spandex, um, which has much more than 25% stretch. So if you're using a fabric that has more than 25% stretch, it's probably going to feel a little bit looser on you than it does if you have use a fabric that has closer to 25% stretch. Um, but it's up to you, kind of, you know, adjusting to get the fit that you like. Um, now you're going to need one and a half to two yards, depending on whether you're showing, sewing the short sleeve or the long sleeve version. Now I'm short, so I can usually um, get away with one yard for a short sleeve, but I do need close to two yards for a long sleeve. So make sure that you've got that on hand. Of course, your usual complement of thread and scissors and clips and pins and all that good stuff. Um, and you could also want to make sure that if you are planning on sewing some of the options that are included, there's an option for some um, sleeve gathers that you'll need elastic thread for, um, and there's an option for some like elbow patches, a cute oval or a heart elbow patch, and you'll need some coordinating fabric for that. You could even use something like a woven for that piece, um, as well as some wash away wonder tape just to help hold it in place while you're sewing. That's optional, but it's something that I prefer to pins when I'm sewing on an applique or a patch or something like that. So um, that's pretty much it for the center field. Now, if you're sewing the men's Hudson, you'll need three yards of fabric for all the sizes. And I think the Hudson works best in fabric with 50 to 75% stretch. For my husband's, um, the first version of the Hudson that I made when I tested it, um, the update last year, I used like kind of a, a French Terry that had less stretch, a little bit less stretch than that. I think it probably had like 20% stretch or so. Um, and it ended up a little tight around the forearms for him. He still wears it all the time and loves it. Um, but you'll want to take your stretch and sizing into account for that one as well. But the Hudson does tend to be a slightly looser fitting garment. Um, the Hudson has the option for a zippered hood um, or like a, a hood that has like a partial zipper placket. So you'll need a six to eight inch zipper if you're planning on adding that as well as some interfacing strips. Um, it also has an option for a chest pocket. Again, wash away wonder tape is really helpful there when you're placing on a pocket or something like that. It would be great for adding the zipper as well. Um, now, I personally don't tend to buy three yard cuts of fabric um, unless I'm intentionally making something for my husband. So this is a great time if you need to run out really quick and sew that up um, or, and 
buy that up and, and buy some extra fabric, um, that's a great opportunity. But you can also keep in mind that if you're separating out the sleeves from the body, you're going to need a little bit less, maybe about a yard and a half um, of each type of fabric. Two yards to be on the safe side, but that probably end up with a little bit extra. So, um, you know, just kind of keep that in mind. Now there is an add-on pack for the women's center field that includes a cowl neck and a three-piece hood. And I've made the three-piece hood before. I'll post a picture on my blog of that. And this time around, I'm making the cowl. So if you're going to be adding one of those options, make sure you include some fabric beyond the two yards needed for the women's long sleeve to add in those options. All right. Um, so that should pretty much do it in terms of supplies. Let's talk about fit for a minute. The women's center field has measurements for the bust on there. It doesn't have any waist or hip measurements included. So if you tend to know that you need to grade up for your hips, which is something that I know about myself because my hips tend to be in a larger size category than my bust or my waist. Um, I'm a little bit of a pear slash hourglass, I think. Um, just kind of keep that in mind and, and maybe do that um, on your own. Go ahead and grade up a size if you need to. Um, if you tend to be more of a rectangular figure, you may need to even grade down in the hips. So as always, a muslin is high, highly encouraged. If you have, you know, raglan's a super quick pattern to just kind of whip up a shell of. Um, so if you have some extra fabric laying around and you haven't made the center field before, I would recommend just kind of whipping up a shell and getting your fit right. Um, when I made this version that I'm wearing right now, in addition to lowering the neckline, I didn't make any other modifications. Um, this is you know, my straight size per the pattern, and it is great for a fitted base layer. I wear this all the time in the winter under vests um, or a you know, zip-up hoodie or something like that. Um, I'm going to be making, for the purposes of this sew along, I'm actually going to be sizing up two sizes um, to make a center field with a cowl that's more of a, a kind of a casual looser fitting outer layer. So you can play with the sizing a little bit um, to get your preferred fit. Um, now in terms of the men's, I mentioned the men's tends to be a little looser fitting. It's great um, as a looser fitting t-shirt or as like, like I made my husband kind of a, a sweatshirt. You might want to size up one for that though too if your hubby likes things or your significant other or your friend um, or even your son likes things a little bit looser, um, it might be a good idea to size up there. And there are measurements included, so you can kind of take a look at that and see. Um, but that should be kind of all you need to know for sizing. A raglan pattern is a really excellent place to start as a beginner. It was one of the first patterns that I made when I was beginning sewing, um, and it's just a really great, great place to begin. So if you're a beginning seamstress, welcome. This is a really great place to start. If you're more experienced, this is an opportunity to add some extra detail or try a new technique like the zipper or the three-piece hood or something like that to add something along those lines to your raglan this week. So I look forward to sewing with you guys. I'm gonna take you down to my cutting table now and show you the pieces that I have cut out for the men's and the women's. Um, like I said, I'm gonna be sewing the women's with the cowl and I'm going to be sewing um, the men's, just kind of the most basic version because that's what my husband likes to wear is just basic, you know, banded neckline, um, you know, pullover. So, um, you know, and I did size up a size for him this time. I'm gonna be making out a sweatshirt um, fleece. So I'm really excited to, to get that sewn up and to show you and share, the, um, share that with you. So let's go down to the cutting table and I'll just show you the pieces and then that'll be it for today. So for the women's center field, um, I'm making it out of this Rayon Spandex French Terry. And I've got my two sleeves, which are cut as mirror images. Now on a raglan, kind of one of the only mistakes that, that's really easy to make is to get confused between the front sleeve and the back sleeve. Um, so, you know, one easy way to tell is that the back is going to be much higher than the front. Um, so that's that's one way that you can kind of differentiate. The swoop of the back is also longer than the front. So um, you you know if you need to go ahead and maybe put some um, clips into the back sleeve. It's labeled on your pattern piece, but sometimes I like to make a couple of snips in the back and just one snip in the front, um, or even just you know stick a pin in the back on each of them. So I have got my sleeves. I've got my cowl pieces, which were both 
cut on the fold. And like I said, this is part of the optional add-on. If you don't wanna do that, you can just add a band to finish off the neckline. But I'm gonna add this cowl. Got two of those. And then I've got my shirt front, which is cut on the fold. And I did, the center field has a really awesome curved hem. And so that's what I'm going to be making. You can also cut a straight hem or add a band if you'd like. And then of course I have my back here. Um, so, and again, you know, that's the longer swoop goes higher at the neck. It's always a good idea to, to make a little snip, like just a tiny little you know, quarter inch snip here at the center back and one also at the center front because when you add your cowl or your neck band, knowing where the center back and the center front is, is going to be very helpful for you. So I've got those pieces. Um, the back was also cut on the fold. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and grab the men's Hudson pieces and I'll show you those. So for the men's, I have the back, again, two mirror images. I've got a neck band because I'm not going to be doing the hood. And then I've got my back that was cut on the fold. And again, snipping in the center there is a good idea. And I've got the front. So, and you can make a little snip there if you'd like. Uh, the men's, I find it especially important to do something to differentiate the front and the back um, because the curves are much bigger. Um, so, I've got all of my pieces laid out now um, for the men's and for my women's center field. And that's all we need to do today is just um, assemble our patterns and cut out our fabric. So if you have any questions um, regarding sizing or fabric, please let me know. Um, otherwise, post a picture in the comments of what you're making. I always look forward to seeing everyone's variation, variations. Everybody's always so creative, coming up with new color patterns and um, color blocking things that I hadn't thought of. So I enjoy seeing that. Post that in the comments, and I'll see you back here tomorrow for some sewing.